What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder, coming to you with this fifth day of Kwanzaa. Y'all know we've been, this whole week, we've been focused on (coughs) the principles of Kwanzaa. We're working on the principles of Kwanzaa because we're going into 2023 with these foundational principles to instill not only in our our uh, in ourselves but also in our business and our brand. So today um, we're going to focus on purpose, Nia, which means purpose, to make our collective vocation the building and developing of our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness that's the meaning of purpose that's the meaning of nia purpose so the question that i'm going to ask you we only have technically uh two days but um with that's today and tomorrow left in 2022 so what is your purpose not only in these last day or two, what are you doing these last two two days in order to be able to walk in your purpose, but what is your purpose for 2023? I want you to, to think about that as we stand on the doorstep of 2023. What's your purpose? What do you want to achieve in the year of 2023? Where do you see yourself December 2023 we talked earlier this week about those assignments and that's real what are your assignments for 2023 what's the purpose of those assignments for 2023 do those assignments make you better as a person do those assignments make your business better do those uh assignments make you as a brand better 2023 is about moving to that next level, elevation. Like I told you, not being unafraid. You've got to see your purpose, you've got to plan your purpose, and then you've got to uh, activate and uh, you got to work towards your purpose. You got to see it first. You've got to see it. If you can't see it, if you don't know where you're going, then how do you know uh, when you're going to get there? Or you're just aimlessly moving along, moving around. So you got to see your purpose first. Then you got to, hey, then you got to plan for it. Okay, here's my purpose. Now, how are you going to get there? How are you going to achieve what it is that you're saying that you want to achieve? And this is for this is for everyone in your organization, from uh, from the line level employee all the way up. To the entrepreneur, the owner of the business. What's your purpose? What's your purpose in your business? You go to work every day. You come to work every day. Or are you just there just to to accomplish the daily routine that you do? <clears throat> or do you have a specific purpose? For, for why it is that you're doing what you're doing. Moving how you're moving. We want to be purposeful in our movement. We want to be purposeful in our actions. We want to be purposeful in our our money, with our finances, giving our, as my mentor Dr. Will says, giving our dollars an assignment. We want to make sure that our, our money has a purpose. Are we using... You know, our money with a purpose or or are we just using it just to kind of, okay, I'm going to take care of this right now. Um, but I don't. And, and we find ourselves not understanding where our money's going. So we certainly want to understand our purpose. Nia. Nia means purpose. What's your purpose for 2023? Write that down. Write that down. Hopefully, I, I don't know if you have a calendar, if you have a journal, whatever it is. My perfect purpose for 2023 is what's your purpose statement? I want to see your purpose statement for 2023. My purpose for 2023. 
And as as my um, mentor, Dr. Will, said uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday, what are your, he called it, your big audacious goals. But what's your purpose? Within your big audacious goal, what's the purpose of them? What is it that you want to uh, achieve on the other side of developing and, and achieving your purpose? What is it that you want to gain by accomplishing what it is that you want to accomplish in 2023? And, and how are you, do you have the, the structures in place? In order to be able to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. And if not, how do you get them? How do you get the resources? How do you get the knowledge? How do you get uh, your business to, uh, you know, to the purpose that you want it to have? Write it out. Are there people that you need to be connected to? How do you make those connections? Are there resources that you need to gain? In order to be able to, in order to be able to achieve your purpose, how do you get that or get them? Are there, uh, you know, are, are there different skill sets that you want to achieve, that you want to gain in order to be able to take you, your business, and your brand to the next level? Or do you want to give your, if you have uh, employees that work for you, do you want to give them skill sets, a skill set? Have, have this conversation with yourself. As an organization, have that conversation with the, the, the folks that, that work for you. If you're an entrepreneur, have that conversation with them. Set up meetings with them and ask them, what, what's your purpose for 2023? What is it that you want to achieve in 2023 that I can help you with? And, and, and see the reaction that you get from those that, you, uh, that work for you. Do the same thing with your business partners. If you, if you have business partners that you work with, have that sit down with them, that conversation. And say, hey, what, what's, your, you know, what's your purpose for 2023? And, and how can I assist you in order to be able to achieve that? And, and you would be amazed at, at what happens, not only to us, but to those that you are, that you're touching. Like I said, y'all, it, it's the picture in the glass. Sometimes with a picture, sometimes with a glass. Finding your purpose and connecting with those that, uh, that you may need is you being the glass, but assisting someone else in finding their purpose or achieving their purpose, you become the picture and what it is that they need to or want to achieve. So we're going into a new year, y'all. 2023, uh, it is literally less than two days away. And we want to go in to 2023 with the right mindset with the right understanding and the right purpose. Let's let's take 2023 and make it purposeful. Let, let's make it be our best year that we've ever had in our lives. And the only way that we can do that is by being purposeful with it. You know, I, I know that these last couple of years have been tough. They've been, you know, they, they've been, you know, kind of devastating for some people. But the thing is, is we're still here and we still have another opportunity to be able to be on purpose and to be where it is that that God has placed us and meant for us to be. But we've got to be in alignment with him and we've got to be in alignment with what it is that we want to treat to, to achieve. So Nia, you all, purpose. Let's go into 2023 with purpose. Knowing, understanding where it is that we are and where it is that we want to be. That's what we're doing in 2023. I appreciate y'all. 
um, I'm going to do these last two days of, of um, you know, of Kwanzaa as well. I know I usually go Monday through Friday, but for these, I'm going to have, I'm going to continue to, to uh, tomorrow because I can't fit all, I'm not going to try and force the last two into this one day. So I'm going to uh, do outward, you know, do one tomorrow, um, tomorrow, which is uh, Kwanzaa day six, which is Kumba which is uh, creativity, and then we're going to do uh, seven, which is on the first day of the new year, um, which is Imani. So we want y'all, 2023, it's our year of purpose, it's our year of, of achievement, of accomplishment. So let's go, let's practice Nia today, let's practice Nia going into 2023. It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., and we'll see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. Great day.